Hey, how's it going? And today, as promised, we're going to start making a series of Unreal tutorials. My goal with these tutorials is to teach you a basic skill each time so that by the time we've got 50 or 60 of these done, you'll have the basic skills to create your own game or go off in your own direction or do whatever you want to do. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a get into blueprint classes and create an actor. That's not as obscure as it sounds. So what I did to get going, I didn't want to waste too much time. So I've already opened a blank game project with starter content so i'm assuming you can figure out how to do that that's not too hard and if you've done it right this is what you'll get you'll get a table with the two chairs and the only other thing you got to do is you've got to go into the epic games launcher and go to marketplace this is awesome this is a quick tip uh, by the way my internet connection is kind of slow there's a tab here that says free and it has free for the month and whatever's on here download it okay it's free and there's some cool stuff and you'll start collecting a lot of cool stuff so anyway one thing you need to download though is called infinity blade grasslands so go ahead and download that so once you've already created your project your game blank project then just come to infinity blades after you've downloaded it and just click add to project just go add to project and that's the easiest way to bring that content in and it might take a couple minutes so I'm going to go back in here and when it is it'll come in over here just to kind of familiarize yourself that little button right here is really important to me because it shows you the organization of your project and the root directory the home folder or whatever the base folder is the content so when you're searching on something sometimes it can get confusing because you're not clicked on that and you're searching for something and the reason is is that you're you need to go up or back to the key directory. So I like keeping this open just so I know kind of where I am. So that's just my preference, but it's just that little button. If you don't like it, just click it off. Okay, so here we are in our game blank template and it comes in with these tables and chairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the chair and delete it because I don't need it. And I'm just gonna delete that and delete that and delete that. Thanks so much, and that's how you create a blueprint. No, it's a lot more than that. So here we go. First thing that we're going to do is make sure we're on our content directory here. And I'm gonna come over into this folder right here, this area, this gray area, and I'm gonna go new folder. And this is just for organization. I'm gonna just call this actor, actors, just for organizational purposes, right? So this is our starter content folder. That's our Infinity Blade Grasslands. And ironically, we, we have this huge folder of content. We only need one thing out of it. And we only need one thing out of that. But we gotta bring the whole thing in, unfortunately. Once we're in this folder though, we're just gonna double click it. And now we're here. And you can see where we are. We're in the actors folder and it's blank. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're going to go to blueprint class now if you don't know is a visual scripting language in unreal and rather than trying to learn c which could take forever to learn and it's a hard language to learn blueprint classes give you nodes a nodal system and you'll see that in just a few minutes here and it's an easier way it's basically just like one or two steps above coding but it can get kind of messy and confusing but it's a lot easier than learning c so almost always you'll probably want to do a blueprint class. There's very few reasons to actually make a game in C++. And so anyway, we'll go here, double click that. And then we have our choice of common classes. So I won't explain all these are already explained right there. Although you should probably review what they are and we'll click an actor. And what we're gonna do is it comes in and we're gonna name this lamp because there's something else already called torch and I don't want to make things more confusing. So we'll go enter and there is our class. Now. To get inside this class, we just double click it. Now this can get this can get pretty messy because now we're inside this editing program here. It's a window within a window. You can start running out of real estate. And for this reason is a good reason to have dual monitors if you can. So you can see up here, this is our that's our default root scene, and that's our lamp there. So what we're gonna do is we got to go down here, make sure we're on the content folder and we're going to search for torch and it's right there. So we're going to click it and we're going to drag it into here. Okay. That's in there. So we're done there and we'll clear that out. Then we're going to make sure we're on the root folder still. And then we're going to type in fire and fires right there. And this is being pulled out of the starter content folder. 
and we're going to click and drag that onto our scene. Now we're going to go ahead and maximize this screen. So now we are in our uh, blueprint editor and we've got our uh, two objects, a torch holder and fire. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to where it says add component and we're going to grab a point light and that's been brought into the scene. So now we got these three things in our scene and you see them all over here. These are all nested within each other and we want these all on the same level. So to do that what we do is you'll click on the fire here and then just click and drag it up here to the default scene and go attach and then you can see we our point light is still kind of a child under parent so we're going to click the point light and drag that up to default scene root and go attach and now all of our items are at the same level now once that's done i should mention on this you can hit the scroll wheel to move in you have the same navigation basic navigation in here so all we're going to do here is i'm going to make sure i'm on the fire i can click here and i'm just going to drag this up inside the torch like that Okay, got that going and then I'm going to click on the point light and I'm going to drag that up just a little bit above the fire. Now what we're trying to actually create is a realistic photorealistic torch that flickers and creates a flickering light within a scene. So we're compiling all these elements together and we're going to add in some blueprint visual scripting to create the flickering effect. So now once we've got all our three objects together we have to just come over here and go hit compile and then we hit save. And then once we're done, we can, we can move this to the side. And if I come over here into actors, I got to get rid of fire there because it's going to, I can now drag my torch onto my scene. So there's my torch. Uh, it's all self-contained. It's uh, got a point light and a fire and the the torch holder let's just call it the flame holder what do you want to call that the iron torch yeah so you got the torch pedestal thing the fire and the point line all combined as one object now you'll notice as that's burning it's not really realistic because there's no flickering going on you can see the point light down here lighting the scene but we want this to flicker so to do that we're going to go and create some uh, code to, to do that. So we're going to come back in here and we're going to go to our event graph. We'll maximize this right now. And this is basically our, where we do our visual scripting. And if I hit the right mouse button, I can move around like this. And then the scroll wheel, I can zoom in. And so I can left click and drag and select these two things and click this and move that out of the way. So this is a very basic script but I think you'll find it helpful. And what I would recommend doing is actually memorizing this. Like I would recommend going through this tutorial quite a few times until you have these steps, this workflow memorized. And then because what will happen is you're gonna take the same workflow and apply it to creating other items and objects. Now what we're gonna do is this is our event begin. And from this little triangle here, you'll notice my cursor changes to a plus sign. If you drag, click, left click and drag out, your, a box will pop up and we're going to search for a node called delay and all this is to create a flickering effect so we're going to double click that and there's our delay and then from this you'll notice the cursor changes to a plus sign again we're going to drag out from our duration we can search for another option and this is called float and it's called random float and range it's right here so I'll double click that and we're going to change this value here to from it'll go from zero to point three okay so that'll create our delay within this range then we're going to drag in what's called a reference to our point light so we're going to come over here and drag that onto our scene and from here we're going to drag out and we're going to be searching for i believe it's set intensity set intensity so we're going to go intensity set intensity right here we want this one then what we're going to do is we're going to click on this go copy and then hit control v to paste and we're going to set our in level of intensity where that's going to vary we'll vary it from 800 to 3200 okay so then once we have our set intensity we're going to drag this the delay into here oh, i want to go and then we're going to drag our set intensity into here. And if you don't entirely understand the logic of this, it's just basically creating an endless loop where our delay fluctuates 
and the intensity fluctuates, then we should be good to go. Let me see one thing here. If I come to my the point light here, we might want to adjust the attenuation radius and you can also adjust the color here as well. And any change you make here will apply across the board. So all we got to do once we've put this script together is just go compile and go save. And now if we come and minimize the screen and we come back into our scene, it doesn't look like anything's happened. Well, the first thing we can do is hit G to get rid of all these widgets, but you'll see it's not flickering yet. But if we hit play, you'll see the lights flickering now in response to the flame. That's what we're trying to create is a flickering light. And basically that's the whole thing. What we've done is we basically got three objects, a point light, a torch stand, and a fire. We've combined them all to one. Then we've created a script to create a flickering light and we've saved all that into our scene. And that's how you create a blueprint class actor. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate this and we've got a long ways to go, but if you stay with me, I think you're gonna find out that you're gonna be learning a lot about Unreal and getting started and creating some really awesome stuff. So take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.